Welcome to another episode of Ground Zero Ukulele, a collection of tutorials for beginning ukulele players. In this episode, we're going to work on some strums. So we'll be using our uh, left hand to change to a couple of chords while we practice strums with our right hand. So let's get right into it. We're going to switch between our C chord and our C6 chord. Okay, in our prior episode, we went over how to figure out uh, how to construct a collection of C chords. So if you have questions on that and want to see that tutorial, I'll put a link to it uh, in the description. So we're going forward from that episode to do some strums. We'll take a look up on the screen here. So you'll see the tablature represented here showing our strings. So these lines represent our strings on our ukulele with the lowest string on your uh, tablature being the fourth string, the one closest to the ceiling. And then the top line on the tablature is the first string, which is on our instrument, the string closest to the floor. So we have four measures represented here with strums that take one beat a piece. We have a collection of four measures with four beats each. At the end, you see a double line with two dots in front of it. That means to repeat what you played from the beginning all the way through. The little indicators on the top of each one of these strum marks indicates a down stroke. On top of the measures, you'll see when the chords change. So you see the name of the chord. We have the C slash G, which means we're playing a C chord with G in the bass. That's this. And the C6 slash G, that's a C6 chord with G in the bass. That's just all the strings open. All right, let's put one together. So it's all down strokes. Tap your foot and we're relaxing this hand. You don't have to do big, long, cranky strums. And you'll notice now in our last episode when we were doing the whole notes, it was easy to just go, let's just strum and it's fun and there's no problem getting back into position because we got four beats. In this case, we don't want to go too far away. And that is the reason for that technique where we are just strumming here, moving our wrist a little bit, economy of motion, comfort in the hand. Okay? All right, we're going to start. Let's get that foot tapping. One, two, three, play. One. So with this hand, what are we practicing? We're practicing changing that chord. Get that third finger in place for the first beat of the measure where it's needed. Get it off of that string. First beat in the measure it's needed when you're changing to that C6 chord. It's either C or C6. Let's move on to our next strum. Strum number two, notice the change in our notation. We have a little bar connecting those strum symbols in that second beat. We see it counted out as one, two, and three, four. So what we have here are called eighth notes when they're connected with that little bar. That means each one of them gets a half of a beat. The way you count a half a beat is when your foot is tapping, when it raises up off the floor as it has to, so you can tap again, that's the halfway point of that beat. We will strum when our foot hits the floor and we will strum when our foot raises off the floor. Two strums in the one beat. Notice that little V symbol over that second strum in those collections of eighth notes. That's the upstroke symbol. So what we're going to do is bring our thumb upwards starting from the first string going to the fourth string for those beats. It'll look like this. One, Try that with me. Two, three, four, all strings open. Down, up, down, down again, down, down, up, down, down. Okay, 
So now let's clap that out. Do it with me. And four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. Okay, now let's apply our chords to it. We're going to start with our C chord. Do it with me. Just jump on in there. Do it the best you can. On the count of four. One, two, three, four, C. Down, up, down, down. C again. C, down, up, down, down. C6. One. Again, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, C, six, down, 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 up, down, down. All right, excellent. Next, we're going to add another down, up strum into these beats. So when we take a look at our next collection of notation here, we have a quarter note, or just a down stroke, on the first and the third beat. And then we have these down ups, the eighth notes, on two and on four. So it will be down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Do it with me. Two, three, four, one. Tap your foot, it'll help you keep track of where you are, all right? Notice how helpful it is to have a down-up strum, uh, eighth note pattern at the end of a measure. When we take a look at our third measure where we're going to that C6 chord, it gives us a grace period to switch to a chord to have a down-up strum happening there. If I'm on C, I can actually get ready for that chord during the upbeat. So I can go one, two, and three, four, and during that upstroke, all the strings can be open. That will really come in handy when I'm switching from one chord to another. Let's take a look at a more complicated uh, chord progression. Down, down, up, down, down, open, down. And down. Sounds fine to the ear because you resolve to the next appropriate place. So you can use these strumming techniques as your chords become more complicated in the future to help you get smooth patterns. Okay, let's go ahead and play this together. On four, we start with the C chord. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Six, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, C, four, and one, two, and three, four, and C, six, two, and three, four, and. Okay, so now you have three strums. What else can you do with this? This is a good time to get yourself a little notebook and create strums of your own. What else could we do to change these strums? Take a look at strum number two. What if we took that down up strum and put it on the third beat? So instead of down, down, up, down, down, we had down, 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 up, down. That would sound like this. Down, 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 up, down. Okay, so you can move these um, down up strums onto any beat. You can do all kinds of permutations and combinations and create your own collection of strums that you might apply to songs. Start out with these three. See if you can switch and play along with me through these patterns and in the next episode we will apply them to a song. Thanks so much for joining me.